I guess I got that stuff about the quantitative easing wrong last time. What do you mean? It turns out that when the Ben Bernang creates money in a time like this, it doesn't cause inflation after all. How can it be? It's because the economy is really weak. We have lots of unused capacity and 15 million people unemployed and millions more underemployed or dropped out of the labor force. But doesn't creating money always cause inflation? No, not when the economy is this weak. The Ben Bernanke already created more than $1.5 trillion since the recession started and we didn't get any inflation from that. Consumer price inflation is only at 1.2% over the past year. And core inflation is only 0.6%, the lowest for more than half a century. What does that mean? Core inflation excludes food and energy prices because they are volatile. But either way, inflation is too low, not too high. So the Ben Bernanke has done the right thing? Yes. This time he has. Although he really shouldn't have that job, because he completely missed the housing bubble, the biggest asset bubble in the history of the United States. But that is another story. So how did you get it wrong about the quantitative easing? I was a victim of right-wing propaganda, there is a lot of it out there. What do you mean? People who are more concerned with cutting spending and social security and don't really care so much about people who are unemployed or about getting the economy really growing again so we can have jobs. But won't the money that the Ben Bernan created cause inflation to shoot up later? No, inflation doesn't just skyrocket all at once. It won't pick up until the economy is really recovering. The Ben Bernanke will have plenty of time to reduce the money supply if inflation becomes a threat. So what good does the money created by the Ben Bernanke do? He can use it to keep long-term interest rates lower. What does that mean? When the Ben Bernanke creates money and uses it to buy long-term treasury bonds, it pushes the interest rate on those bonds down. But aren't long-term rates already very low? Yes, but there are other things that the quantitative easing can help with too. What else? The bonds that the Ben Bernanke buys will no longer be held by the public, they will be held by the Fed. What does that mean? It means that the interest on those bonds will be paid back to the Treasury. What does that mean? It means that we, the taxpayers, no longer have the interest payments to make on those bonds. It reduces our debt burden. Isn't that like a free lunch? There is no such thing as a free lunch. Yes, but it works. But the main thing is for the federal government to use the money that the Ben Bernanke created to have another fiscal stimulus. The Ben Bernanke even said that today. Why do we need more stimulus? Because we have lost more than a trillion dollars a year in private spending due to the collapse of the real estate bubble. Until that comes back, only a stimulus from the government can get the economy growing and provide jobs. Didn't we already have a stimulus? Yes, but it was too small. It was only about one-eighth the size of the private spending lost from the collapse of the real estate bubble. Let me see if I have this right. The Ben Bernanke is actually helping the economy by creating money and reducing the burden of the federal debt. Yes. But the federal government needs another stimulus package to take advantage of what the Ben Bernanke has done. Yes.